Hey guys, I was in Singapore last Monday and I went to a meeting and one of the newbies there didn't know about hashing. And hashing is one of the most important computing concepts there is and um, I just wanted to make a quick video about three important properties of hashing for newbies out there uh, interested to know about more about hashing. So first off, there's, there's a number of hashing algorithms as you can see on my screen. And um, the first thing is integrity. So you can think of hashing as a, as a fingerprint. It, it reads through the whole file and it's able to sort of like calculate a particular, well, a hash, which says what, uh, that sort of identifies that file in a sense. And if that file name changes, it will be a different hash. You can see, I change foo.txt and see and now it's a different hash altogether. Um, but obviously, if the hash was the same, you can pretty much be sure that the the um, the file is exactly the same. So, in a in a sense, it's useful for uploads, for example. So you can maybe ask what the server has, uh, and it can return a list of hashes. And if they correspond to the, your your local hashes, you know that you two both have the same. Um, okay, that's that's for integrity. Um, that's pretty important. The second thing is, is a difficult concept here, is that it's cryptographically equal. So let's just say you these different hash algorithms as I demonstrated, SHA-1, SUM, md and blah, 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 SUM. Let's just say there's a hash that only goes from A to Z, so 26 letters. And you say so you're hashing lots and lots of files. There's going to be just as many A's as there are going to be Z's. It's cryptographically equal and just as many, you know, A, B, C, D, all across. It's going to be equally distributed. So um, that's really important, actually, because um, that means you can, well, you can take the first few letters almost to identify the hash sometimes. Obviously, the, the whole thing is, 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 is really required. But it's a way of actually just, you can use it also for, for, for distributing load. And third, you can actually, this is pretty much how Bitcoin mining works, because... Uh, Bitcoin mining knows that the hash is going to be distributed and it knows how difficult that hash is. So it kind of like sets these properties like I want a hash that starts with A and da 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 and that's how mining actually works uh, or the blockchain or whatever. Third thing and the third thing um, about um, about the um, hash that's really important is that it's one way. So you get that fingerprint and you can't actually go back <laughs> and uh, and the use the use case where that one way is used all the time is for passwords. So this is like actually my system password file. So if um, if if you can imagine my password could be foobar, and then that would calculate this sort of really long hash. And you couldn't really work out that my password is foobar unless you sort of done a dictionary attack and maybe well, pre, pre sorry pre um, uh, pre pre-computed all the hashes for all the letters of an al uh, all the all the words of an alphabet um, so anyway um, as a result this is how passwords are kept because then you don't actually know what the password is you you have the hash it's a lot more secure so if this if, I mean I'm showing you this so that you can like um, you can run away and try and calculate my password and it's it's a very hard problem I'm not really worried you're gonna actually solve it okay Thanks for watching. I hope you learned uh, something, those three things about hashing. Number one, integrity. Number two, cryptographically equal. I'm actually not too sure what the term is. And third, um, one way.